but it's just turned 2 a.m. Time for a real early start today. No, only kidding, really. I needed to get up for a comfort break. I looked out the window, and I thought this would make a good shot. Let's wait till it's daylight before we make a move. Before we leave Coventry Basin, and this is Coventry Basin, by the way, it's been my second visit here in just over two weeks. I bought my stove from very nearby to here, just across the road, across the footbridge. You may have seen me go over in a previous episode, called Machine Mart. But I needed another piece for it, so that's what made me come back, and I needed to return a piece as well. I had one piece I didn't need, and another piece I wanted to buy. But before we leave, I thought I'd take you on a nice little walk around the basin here. I've been moored here twice now, both times for nearly a week each time. And it's very quiet here and very, very peaceful. I've really enjoyed more in here, but I know we have a lockdown coming and I want to move out of here for a couple of reasons. It's quite a walk to the stores and I have to walk through quite busy areas. And I've decided to go back to rugby. I spent the last lockdown, where I found the last lockdown very easy to cope with. So I'm hoping to find the same this time. I'm hoping you're enjoying this little walk around the basin whilst I'm rambling on. I do think there's quite a few points of interest, so that's why I wanted to record it so you could see it. Anyway, it's time to go and get the boat ready and make a move back up from the basin through Bridge 1 up towards Hawkesbury Junction. So let's go. Well, it's time to say goodbye, Coventry. I'm pretty sure I shall be back one day again. It's very nice here in the basin, but it's time to make a move. Here we go through Bridge 1. You may notice here that there's something unusual about this bridge as well. It has actually no towpath going through it, and it's also very low. Look at all these beautiful autumn colours. Look at all these gorgeous berries, bright oranges and reds on the bushes here. Well, hello, swans. I'm glad you're enjoying this nice sunshine here we're having at the moment. Don't get fooled, because I believe there's rain on the way soon today. Well, here, fishy, fishy, fishy. It's nice to see 
this sort of street art or canal art here on this small park. It's quite obviously for the small children that live in the local area here. Nice to see. Well, I'm guessing that these posts here, they're remnants of some old loading wharf. Well, you can tell that we're getting well into autumn now. It's gone 10 o'clock in the morning and the sun is still playing havoc with the camera. I believe another YouTuber might know the entrance to that marina. These linear moorings here I believe a part of the marina we just passed. Well, that's bridge five and we have bridge six now right in front of us. We're slowly working our way up the Coventry Canal. Well, these lights are not for uh, boaters, they're for the towpath on the opposite side here. This towpath's quite busy. Here now, until we reach Hawkesbury Junction, the landscape doesn't really change very much. We have a few small businesses, some industrial work going on, and intermingled with some older properties. You can see here that the towpath is closed off. This is Bridge 6 we're approaching, and it's closed off for quite a long way where they're actually repairing or replacing the towpath. Here you can see where this bridge has been extended at some time and widened. Of course, not nice brickwork, ugly concrete. Now there are moorings along here. There's a pub just beyond that hedgerow there, where it would be quite nice to stop. But uh, obviously, at the moment, it's all no mooring. They have the towpath closed off for at least a mile, probably further. There are moorings along here. There are probably three or four boats, depending upon their length. There we start where the work is happening. And you can see they're here, just about through the sun, where the workmen are working. All the entrances to the towpath are closed off. And here is where they're actually doing some work to the towpath. Now, this may all look nice, but they're going to actually asphalt all of this. Which means it makes no mooring for us boaters. What it does mean, I believe, it's going to become a cycle racetrack. But nowhere for anyone to moor. Here's another pub which would have had nice moorings. But once again, nowhere to moor. Of course, it's not these guys' faults, they're just doing what they're told to do. Unless they're going to put mooring rings in along here, which I spoke to one of the guys, it doesn't seem is going to happen. It's going to be a probably well over a mile of unmoorable territory now for us boaters. And one of the areas is very near a large Tesco's, which I'm sure a lot of boaters would like to stop at. As you can see here, they're actually tying up off the fence and nowhere else. A lot of new builds going along here. Very nice too. Hopefully the new builds will help keep the canal in some sort of order. And keep some of the riffraff away. I was told not to go down to Coventry Basin because of all the rubbish in the canal and some undesirables along the towpath but to be honest, quite honest with you the canal is quite clean and it was a very pleasant trip down there i had no problem with anybody once again look the towpaths all closed off here is where you could actually moor there's a tiny bit of armco here for a short distance as you can see, it's an asphalt path they've put in, and that's going to run 
the whole length for quite some time. There are a couple of moorland spots just the other side of this bridge. Once again, it's very limited. I think there's probably a space for probably two boats maximum. Sharp ends coming up. Now we are approaching another pub here on the left hand side. They have actually a couple of morons outside. I'm told it's a very nice pub, but uh, I never stopped. I will be arriving at Hawkesbury Junction very shortly. Well, as you can see, I'm now at Hawkesbury Junction. I'm going to leave you with a few shots in and around the junction. Um, I'm filling up with water at the moment and uh, I shall be heading back onto the Oxford Canal. So I'm going to leave you as I head onto the Oxford Canal. I just want to say thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. It was a bit of a piece together because this was also where I had a lot of problems with my camera. That just leaves me to say thank you very much for watching. Trevor out.